this ultra race definitely needs a lot lot more mental training uh rather than just physical training because you are out there for a really really long time you just have to be mentally prepared for that um nutrition has to be in place a lot of you know there's a lot of planning there's like a mountain of planning before you go into the race itself that's that's what that's an ultra race that's what it's all about half the war is won in the planning itself Three days to go before events start, and uh, tomorrow morning the president of the race across America is reaching um, Pune. So by that time, we are hoping within the next 12 hours to wrap up a whole lot of work uh, for printing of all the race collateral, sponsor promos, and um, tying up all the loose ends with officials and the vehicles that are going to be used. And yeah, it's. The schedule is tight now. <laughs> it keeps on varying. So at times it's people uh, picking up the call on the first go. Uh, at times, if they don't pick up, they call back right away. <laughs> at times, I've spent a couple of days trying to get them to say hello. Well, we have uh, officials and crew who are following the riders. and uh, we keep an eye on them as much as possible and if we find uh, we give them uh, if we find them to be doing small mistakes so these we give them warnings but if there are major lapses or major cheating then we do stop them from continuing further this will be ram's 35th year uh coming up and it's a 3000 mile non-stop cross country bicycle race that goes from Oceanside California to Annapolis Maryland and there will be uh in ram there are solo categories 2 4 and 8 person teams teams all race relay style the solos are it's just just up to them and the participation is about 350 riders for ram about 50 60 solo riders and the balance will be on the 2 4 and 8 person teams so uh, of the 68 cyclists who are going to be racing this year we are going to have three who have qualified for ram last year and are racing again against each other against time trying to improve their timing um we also have a, a few others who are going to be giving them a good challenge Uh, cyclists are coming from around the country. Uh, not just cyclists, we've got an interesting uh, mixture of uh, athletes from different uh, uh, streams also. We've got uh, mountaineers, we've got runners who are going to be attempting this race this year. This year I'm crewing for Apur. The reason why I chose to crew for him was to get the experience of being in the background team and like experiencing what it takes to be a soin here basically. Last time I almost uh, like I, I went off over my limit and uh, like by the time I realized like when I reached uh, to the base of the Kambakti Ghat I I got the realization that I spent myself a lot. 
all of a sudden you get slow on the mountains. But after that mountains, uh, because it's a tough phase of the, the, the initial part of the race is very tough. Uh, if you consider those mountains, that's the only big climb uh, considering the entire route. And uh, like uh, when you get down from those mountains, uh, you feel uh, the effect of it. Actually, I've been associated with DC since the first edition. for the winner in the second edition. So, seeing him ride, you know, somewhere, it was like, I wanted to put myself in that place and see how I do. Yeah, he was an inspiration for me. It's definitely going to be a really fast race this year. Uh, not just because of the training, but also because of the competition. Um, and the planning it has, is much more micromanaged uh, by me and my crew as well. Uh, all the kinks have been sorted out from the last year. Whatever mistakes that I did, I'm not going to do them again this year. So I'm hoping that I cut off at least a couple of hours from my last year's time. Like I've just uh, two months back, I was in France doing PVP, and that was one of the toughest things that I've ever done. Uh, it was 12-30 kilometer race uh, to be done 90 hours, and I managed to do it in 86 hours. So uh, that long duration. Uh, has uh, like almost enabled me to get into the mindset of doing long distance racing again, uh, Dick and Cliffhanger. And uh, yeah, about this time, the changes that has, that what I am seeing in this race is a competition. Last year, okay, there was a good competition, but this year the competition has increased a lot. Uh, like uh, there are a lot of strong riders who are coming for the race. They have trained really well. All my training was with respect to this race, very frankly. Uh, I did some climbing at uh, Mutha Top you know, I wouldn't say I'm very good at climbing but I've done Pasarani two, three times and I, I think uh, in my head I know that I'm not very strong at it but I can do it. If you compare it to any other races, shorter races for example, you can actually get away with not training a lot, you can just complete, still complete the race though. Like, but something like an ultra race, everything has to be in place at least a month before you, have be, you should be used to it. Nothing new should be there. Um, yeah, so the planning, that's important in an ultra race. Competition is, really, is tough, yes, because there's a German machine in the race. Um, that's uh, Michael, my coach. So he is, you know, if there's anyone out there who might probably beat me would be him.